Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your general reading to start the day. Let's see what messages are coming through for Pisces. As always, take whatever resonates with you. Leave the rest. Not all the messages are going to be for you. Some of the messages are going to be for other Pisces watching. I want to thank you all for choosing to watch this video. Thank you so much. And thank you for all of the continued support. You guys know that it means the world to me. Alright, so let's see. Spirit, please bring in the most powerful confirmations, accurate predictions, and best advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, Knight of Wands, first card showing up here. So, energy that comes in quickly comes out. Energy that is very, very flowy and fiery, passionate. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy crossed by the Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in love. Some of you guys could be having desires, perhaps with a fire sign, um, romantic in nature. You may want a established relationship or a, if it's not romantic, kind of like a, a more solid, solidified commitment with a fire sign. And you may feel like this person is very flighty. Some of you could be romantically looking for, as I mentioned, commitment, even marriage possibly. And you may find yourself attracting or surrounded by people who are very non-committal. And this may be something that you want to change. In the recent past, you may have had downtime because you needed to, because you've been feeling tired, because you've been feeling maybe um, a little depleted, or maybe this was downtime that was sort of like imposed by your needs, you know, by your need of, you know, mental clarity, mental health. You may have been sort of like obligated to take a break or obligated to take things a little slower. The Four of Swords usually talks about resting, recharging, taking a moment to step back, okay? And maybe that's what you have been doing perhaps in love. Some of you guys maybe took a pause from love or from, you know, something else in your life. You may have chosen to just take a break from it, maybe even let an opportunity pass and just let time heal you. Now you may be feeling very, very passionate yourself. Maybe you want something interesting. Maybe it is you who wants something non-committal, Pisces. In your mind space, though, with the Justice card here, many of you are thinking about a Libra here as your, um, as your partner, potential partner, ideal date. You may be thinking about someone who's Libra. Now, if that's not the case, you may be thinking a lot about the concept of justice and what feels fair and just to you. I see a group here of Pisces who are dealing with a player energy and you're thinking this is not what i want this is not fair to me i need something a little more serious or i'm looking for something that could potentially end in a long-term uh, marriage commitment something like that because of the higher fat here in the future and therefore some of you are going to be choosing to focus on work focus on finances focus on all the things that are important to you at this time and maybe put this connection in you know, kind of like in the back burner, if you feel like it's not serious enough for you. Now, that's a group of you. Another group of you, on a very different note, are feeling non-committal non -committal yourselves. And you may be thinking how this could be unfair for someone that you're dealing with. Because, you know, a brand new beginning in love is not necessarily what you're looking for. It's like, it's the same story, but it could be kind of like reversed in the roles. I see here that if this has more to do with work, 
you may be feeling very passionate about something, but just like that passion came in, it can quickly fizzle out. Okay, so try your best not to make any like massive changes based on uh, just, you know, brand new idea that may or may not last. What the universe wants you to know here with the Three of Pentacles is that if you need help, the help is available, okay? If you need assistance, whether it is from the divine, whether it is from your higher self, your guides, whether it is from friends, co-workers, people that can teach you, people that can assist you, the help is going to be there for you. All you need to do is ask. That's what I just heard. You may have felt like in your life things got really boring, maybe at work, maybe with your routines. There could have been a recent time of stagnant energy, boredom, that is now dissipated by this very passionate, inspirational energy here. Just make sure that this is something that you want to pursue for real and not something that just comes kind of like in and out. I just heard don't put all of your eggs in one basket. I don't know what that message could mean for some of you. The energy representing you right now is the lover's card. Beautiful. This is a beautiful depiction of the lovers. So right now, Pisces, you may be feeling... I think that some of you are facing your fears in regards to romantic love. Because they're like looking at each other very intensely there. Some of you may be um, being honest with yourself, facing yourself, your fears, your insecurities. Maybe some of you are like, you know what, I said that I wanted to just have fun and I told this person it was going to be okay. But honestly, what I want is something more serious. Or the other way around. Maybe I told this person that this was going to be long term. And honestly, I don't think that I want that. I think that I want more of a, you know, flighty, flingy kind of thing. So I see you guys making a choice here. I see someone in your environment, an air sign. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or it could be someone who speaks the truth. Someone who does not fear saying things, you know, as they are. So this could be the energy around you. This could be a person, a friend, someone who says, you know, the truth to you in no filter. Or this could be energies around you that are sustaining that for you, like are making you feel inclined to operate from that space. In Hopes and Fears, we've got here the Devil card. So you may have hopes and hopes of like maybe sexual connection, temptations being fulfilled. At the same time, you may fear um, aspects that have to do with addictions, bad habits, um, Toxicity, toxic relationships or patterns. You may be afraid of certain aspects of, of sexuality as well. It really does depend on the context that you are going with. Because I do see several groups of Pisces, you know, very separate groups. With the Eight of Pentacles though, I see that in one way or another, all of you are headed towards a... Important commitment to what is important to you guys. Whatever is important in your life, whatever needs maybe your attention, your discipline, your hard work, is definitely something you're going to be prioritizing at this time. I see some of you studying while you're working and you have a side hustle. <laughs> you know, it's like a lot of energy and fulfillment here. I feel like you pass from a stagnant energy into wanting to do everything explore it all and you know it's it's just make sure that you don't almost like get this fire ignited in you and just as quickly it fizzles out
separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this goes for some of you, especially those of you who are realizing that you're not on the same page as your partner, okay? Those of you who maybe want something solid, something stable, something long-term, and your partner or potential partner is looking more kind of like for a, you know, sexual connection or a fling of sorts. The other way around could apply too. Universe, what is the best advice you can give Pisces at this time through this deck? Make a vision board, card number 33. All right. So it's good to have things clear. It's good to have clarity on what is it that you want, how you want it to look, feel, taste, and smell. You know what I mean? Like you really... Having that clarity is going to help you make sure that what you attract, you get to evaluate properly and immediately to identify, is this what I wanted or is it not? And move forward from there. Okay, Pisces? Let's pull some additional messages here. These are major arcanas. I'm going to do a layer over the Celtic cross just to see maybe, you know, clarification. So yeah, some of you are definitely feeling a lot of creative energy flowing through your veins, new ideas, new projects, new, new, just excitement. And that energy is very powerful. It's really helping you. Even in your magical pursuits, you're going to feel more capable in a way. And the challenge, second time the devil comes up here, okay? So you could be having challenges with your discipline, with your commitment to yourself. You may have tendencies that are sabotaging you at this time. If that's the case, let's open the space for a little bit of healing here. Comment in the comment section down below if, of course, you are okay with others reading. What is it that is holding you back right now? What are those habits that you know you need to get rid of that are holding you back? Comment in the comment section below. Let's support each other. We all have things that we want to release. In my particular case, I want to eat better, guys. I really want to eat better. I want to change my eating patterns. What is it about you that you feel you need to change in order to gain kind of part of yourself back? Judgment in your recent past with the Four of Swords. Some of you have realized that you need to rest in order to be okay, in order to be balanced, in order for, you know, everything in your energy system to be where it needs to be and everything to flow correctly. You need to sleep. You need to rest. The world in the mind space. So you're definitely thinking about endings and beginnings completions things that you're wanting to complete okay so some of you could be working on pending goals that are about to be wrapped up but not quite just yet and you have to kind of like put that effort in that last last bit of effort some of you may be thinking about travel some of you are thinking a lot about the legal aspects of politics and the world right now, thinking about those with concern. In the future, look at that, we got the star card, beautiful. So this is wish fulfillment. I see you here with the Hierophant in the near future and the star that those wishes that you have asked the divine for are coming true, okay? If you have been exploring higher knowledge, sacred occult knowledge, even like Egyptian kind of things, I don't know why that's jumping to me. Um, if you have been wanting or desiring marriage, wisdom, uh, sacred wisdom, occult wisdom, all of that is coming in very powerfully, powerfully in the near future, including, including astrology even, because it is the star card there. 
justice again. <laughs> Repeating cards all over, guys. Divine justice is in your favor, Pisces, okay? So if you need help, you're going to receive that help. If you have been feeling like things are against you, the universe is almost promising you, like, that's not the case. We'll show you that that's not the case. The tower representing you at this time alongside the lovers. So there may be important changes happening right now within you and affecting your romantic relationships or your relationships at work in general. I feel like there is a big change on how you do things, if you allow yourself to be helped or not. There's a big shift, a big change, a powerful transformation. I feel like many of you for the first time ever are actually allowing people in. Others of you, it's more of a an existential almost um, transformation of what you perceive your desires to be. High Priestess in the environment so there is a lot of wisdom there could be someone here who is very very wise okay just as they are intuitive they are upfront about things this could be someone who's incredibly intelligent intuitive connected divinely guided objective and assertive the death card Showing up in your hopes and fears alongside the devil card. Some of you want transformation. You're exploring transformation. You're exploring how would it look to change those things that you know you need to change. But at the same time, you may be afraid of that change. You may be afraid of actually stepping in and living in this new way. strength alongside the eight of pentacles as the conclusive energy i love it you have the strength pisces to create to create to design to manifest to attract what it is that you want okay if you are your masterpiece you have the ability to shape yourself to release bad habits to include good habits to grow in the way that you want to grow you have that ability pisces don't be afraid because you also have that strength you are going to be able to put that strength into action and prove that to yourself okay you will be able to pisces the whole website is 50 percent off right now so please go ahead and check it out and um check out you know the different online courses that i have there there's also a new section called manifestation jars these are rituals that i do on my own on your behalf for you to get kind of like a boost of your energy in the manifestations that you're working for so it's super exciting i love doing them they're super powerful and those are 50 percent off right now too and we are in the full moon energy so you know make the most out of that discount and the energy that is um, available currently and check those out. My loves, thank you for joining me today. I truly hope that you know how powerful you are, Pisces, because as the cards are saying it, I'm saying it too. You can do this. You can change whatever it is that you need to change in your life. All right, my loves, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.